Hey Nimdags, this is Ash from Heal My PC. It's really late at night and I'm kind of bored. I'm going to show you a quick fix. Now this laptop is an Acer E1571 something. It's an Acer, okay? So I don't know. And uh, it's been dropped and it's chipped. As a result, it doesn't want to turn on. I've done some preliminary tests. Before I work on the laptop, I'm going to show you what you could do to see if you could potentially retrieve some data. Now, first thing, as usual, get the battery out, turn it over, and uh, discharge the static electricity by holding the power button on for more than 15 seconds. I've already done that, so I'm just showing you. And what we're interested in today is accessing the hard drive, which is located under this back cover, held on by two screws. So I'll take this off. Boom. And those lift the cover up and here's the hard drive we'll pull it out and there you go so now I'm going to take you over to my uh, computer over there so walk with me now don't be lazy park you here don't worry not charging for parking and that's my computer and I've disconnected my hard drive and this is a SATA disk anyway the power bit and the data bit so we're going to plug it into the power cable and the SATA cable and we're going to turn the computer on and hope for the best now I know what you're thinking yeah Ash, does that mean you could literally take any disk from anywhere and put it in a different system and it would work? Yes and no. So it will not work with 100% of disks, but it's worth a try if you get stuck and your laptop or desktop, for the matter, doesn't want to boot up or doesn't want to turn on for whatever reason. And also what it does mean is you may be able to retrieve some information from your dead laptop as long as your disk is not physically damaged or from your desk desktop by the way you can try to plug it in different system now this is windows 8 or 8.1 it will work with windows 7 and probably windows 10 as well as you can see we are lucky in this case the disk is still in working condition which means we can actually try and retrieve some of the info. There we go. So and there you go. I can access my stuff. It's worth a try. Just take your hard drive and put it in a different system and it should boot up. It will not obviously be recognized as a genuine Microsoft windows operating system because you need your own motherboard for that but it's well worth a try just to get your data off before you decide to work on the laptop or desktop to fix it so there you go guys it was a quick one thanks for watching remember to subscribe and do your thing down below until next time peace out